quiet set today. Let's make a little noise. I just want to go ahead and say what an absolute honour it is to have such a alpha beast on the podcast, finally. Look at him, he's an animal. Uh, no, no, calm down, gents, because there's enough of Papa Bear to go around. Cham Kirkham, baby. So today started like any other day in quarantine. I woke up, had my breakfast, did my daily chores, watched my daily dose of the F2 videos, and drank to numb the pain. Then, I got a notification. But before I tell you about that, let me set the scene, because it's been a pretty mad week. This is not the last major outbreak we're ever going to see. How serious is this? Is this something that we need to be terrified of? You have to understand the timing of it in the sense that it's just beginning. I think we're in the middle of a massive experiment. The coronavirus is the biggest threat this country has faced for decades. The coronavirus has took over the world, so grander, don't bother recording loose women, you'll not get round to it, fella. I can't say that, can I? Let's face it, if old people die, what are we really going to lose? Racism and carry-on films? I can deal with that. I'm joking, please know I'm joking. And this virus is being hailed as the end of the human race. I mean, at this point, the coronavirus has got rid of more people than the sugar babes. I can't how good did that sound? Oh my god, what the fuck? And the entire country has been put into lockdown, which means we've got to stay inside our houses for the foreseeable. I bet Jehovah's Witnesses are loving this. <laughs> In addition to this, there is uh, one thing that is worse than the coronavirus. Celebrities trying to fix it. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us. Above us on the sky Imagine all the people Great, well that's the coronavirus destroyed I beat that 2020 it is, boys! I go falls. At least some are doing alright Got California written on, of course it's posh bro But one thing that has me fuming is toilet roll munchers. Can I just ask you one question? Why is everybody stocking up on toilet roll? I mean look at this guy how many toilet rolls do you need, Albert? Excuse the pun, but are you shitting me? What oh, funny is this? It's fucking gold, isn't it? Fucking gold, bro! Well, I guess one thing we can take from toilet rolls selling out is that we've got more arseholes in the world than my first thought. Ah, uh, you love that one. Uh, you fucking little genius. I'm just gonna be honest. Is he gonna need that many toilet rolls in his lifetime? Probably not. That was deep. Um, that was that was very deep. To put them back, you selfish twat, because I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. Actually, you know what, Albert? Hang tight, my brother. I'm going to help you out. Welcome to Toilet Roll Life Hacks 101. That was such a good zoom. <laughs> First on the list, make use of a towel. It's a bit like doing anal with your girlfriend. The first time you do it, it's going to feel a little bit rough, but the more you do it, the easier it is to sit down afterwards. Second on the list. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He starred in Jumanji, so he's used to shit. No, and hey, if you haven't shaved your bottom in a while, your crack and the name of that movie will have something in common. And if you are lucky enough to have some toilet roll left, just ration the days of the week on each slab. And hey, <laughs> with any luck, you know, um, if you're going through a dry patch, maybe see your finger will slip through one of the slabs and you'll finger yourself. I can't actually do that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, let's not do that. Stop going on me feet! You've got to take what you can get in times of quarantine, fellas. And on that note, I'm off. So progressing to Thursday the 2nd of April, I was scrolling on me phone on Instagram, and then I seen Logan Paul uploaded this photo. Which led to this. So after taking this photo, me and Chloe uh, sat down, ate a cheese and onion Greg's pasty, watched Netflix, and to be honest, didn't think much of it. But then, the biggest turning point in history occurred. Anime bitches, I look at her titties, then I take her home and we count up these fifties. I come to your city, I sneak in your chimney, I tickle her kidney, and then I watch Disney. I 
For my 25th birthday, I wanted to take an iconic photo for Instagram, so I showed my friends my idea. Is there any way I could stop looking at it? On top of that, I think I accidentally started a trend. Nice work, you sexy beast. Twenty twenty's been mad, hasn't it? Oh, just call it off now. God. Well, I know Logan Paul likes to box, but I never expected him to be this close to my ring. I'm sorry, right? But this is the wildest crossover in history. If you don't know who any of us are, let's face it, probably because you have a life. This is like, um, I don't know, the cast of This Is England collaborating with the Avengers. So buckle up, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm about to make Logan Paul rob a Londis. For real, though, I feel like this is my moment. This is my thing on YouTube. This is my legacy. If anything, like who would have thought that so many opportunities would have come from posting a naked picture? I mean, it's no wonder that every single person with tits in the world is doing OnlyFans. I mean, I'm basically the millennial Kim Kardashian and I love it. For real though, right? 10,000 likes and I'll start an OnlyFans. This guy has literally helped so many careers in the Northeast. First the true Geordie, now me. Logan Paul is basically Santa in Newcastle. At this point, he's made more careers than Louis Walsh. Stuff having a statue of Alan Shearer in the middle of the city. We just need that photo of Logan Paul on top of every single Weatherspoons in Newcastle. Can you imagine Logan Paul being inside a Newcastle nightclub, man? Got a and when all this commotion was going on last night, at one point, everybody was outside the windows clapping. Come on, guys. I know being an influencer is tough, but this is too much. I refuse to believe 2020 and all. The year the coronavirus killed the world. 6 9 was released from prison, and Logan Paul has a naked photo of Cam Kirkham saved on his phone. Look, I'm even referring to myself in the third person. Do you want to know why? It's because I'm famous, tit lords. Oh, just give us me bongo sponsorship already. <laughs> referring back to the tweet, the the funniest thing is, the people in the photos get more and more malnourished as you go along. And look at that absolute heterosexual beast at the end. Also, I love how all the other photos are like pictured on a really smooth and crisp background. Then there's mine, sitting in front of chipped wood with a bent telephone wire. I mean, at least I'm always on brand. <laughs> what will I man? And of course, like I even need to say this, you all had me back. We are proud. Not tagging Cam. Unbelievable. Worse than the forest. Cam is the best. Let's be real. I mean, I think many would disagree, Sky, but thanks for being me hype man. What I think is even weirder is the amount of celebrities that have witnessed my unshaven bare bottom come across the timeline. James Charles being one of them, and I was slightly disappointed I didn't receive a message off him. I mean, isn't straight guys his thing? Oh. <laughs> Probably like a little bit intimidated. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely why. Bradley Martin. Isn't that like that massive like geezer on YouTube? LMFAO. I'm doing this with an effing hat on too. <laughs> that's hilarious. Please do it. And even Tana Mojo liked it. So, uh, is anyone up for a fake wedding? Because my bank account now has a boner. Do you know when I go and see the vlog squad now? The like David Dobrik squad? They would have seen my face before. And your ass. And me ass. So, so, yes. Thank you, Logan for branding my Gollum body to millions of people worldwide. I think I'm proud of this being my legacy. The real life Gollum. This is the story that our kids are gonna pass down from generation to generation. Now I don't know where this will end up. Uh, maybe he might fly us out for an impulsive episode of our real. That's so big, isn't it? <laughs> if I don't get an impulsive in 2020 then. I will be fuming. Nah, probably, yeah, uh, he's, he's probably not even gonna respond to this. So subscribe, stay in the house, stay safe. Um, I've been uploading on a second channel, make sure you click the link in the description, go and watch my new latest video, and on that note, I'll see you in a bit. I can dance like Michael Jackson. One fainty in the middle of the night, it was- Hey, right, thanks for the five minutes of fame, Logan. Have a nice night yourself. Half oh, fame, didn't get a tag, no real fame at all, but I've got a video out of it, so who's the winner now? <laughs> No, no, not again. All through quarantine, all I do is just rub me balls or ass on your face. No, I love it. <laughs> okay, and then I took my finger in my ass. Wonderful. Wonderful. The more you like that. Um. Mm. POV. You can't cook a stick. Do I kind of